Hi, this is Nick Garner for Sports Talk for Kids, and I'm here with Derek Mays. What's your advice for any young and up-and-coming talent? Any young and up-and-coming talent, Nick, I would suggest to them that they enjoy this time in school. You only get a certain amount of years of it, and uh, it's the best time of your life. You're playing uh, the sports for the love of the sport and for the love of the game, and uh, there's no better time. So enjoy this while you got it, because you're going to get old some days, and you got to start paying taxes and handling all the adult responsibilities. How did you adjust from the college game to the pros? Well, just that. I realized that it was a business, you know, once you get to the pros. Uh, for college, it was always fun to play for Notre Dame and play for our school and play for uh, our family. But once you uh, get into the pros, you're working. And so that was the biggest difference that I had to make an adjustment about. How do you do describe the experience of Super Bowl 31? Wow, Super Bowl 31 was awesome, but I tell you what, nothing gets better than going down that tunnel, playing for Notre Dame, hearing the fight song, and hearing all the, uh, the crowd and all the cheer, nothing gets better than that. What was it like playing for Brett Favre? I got a bunch of broken fingers. I can't wear my Super Bowl rings because he broke all my fingers, so uh, he throws the ball really, really hard. What was it like being able to play here at Notre Dame? Like, how do you describe running out of the tunnel? Nothing like it. I mean, that was a great time. And uh, to play for my teammates, guys that you grew up with and you still stay in touch with and that you know and love, uh, that's, what, that's what it's all about. College sports is nothing better because, again, you're playing for the love of the sport and for your school and for your family. What does what you learned in football help you now in life? Well, you know, Coach Hose always told us that uh, <clears throat> that the resources that you need in life are right under your nose. It's just up to you to cultivate and maintain those relationships. So that's one thing that I've taken to, to true uh, going into the business world and just in life in general. Uh, you make sure that those that are around you are your biggest resources and your biggest supporters. So you got to make sure you cultivate and maintain those relationships. What kind of doors did playing football open for you? Well, they, you know, Doors allowed me to come to a place like Notre Dame. You know, being a student athlete, any sport you play, regardless of what it is, uh, it's a tool. And, uh, you know, it gets you a, a access to a, a higher education. And that's important. Uh, I think more kids need to understand that. You know, any kid can be uh, a scholar and a straight-A student. You know, very few people can be a Derek Mays to go to win a Super Bowl. That's like one in 17 million. So don't even worry about that. Worry about going to school and letting sports get you that education because that's very important. Thank you for your time and good I luck. I appreciate it, Nick. And I tell you what, you got an awesome future in this and you keep it up, all right? I, all right. I look forward to one day uh, being a big fan of yours on the, on the TV screen. Well, thank you. All this right. is Nick Garner for Sports Talk for Kids. Hey, kids, let's talk sports. Hey, you know, you're in television, you got to know which one is your good side, all right? Do you have a good side? I'm, I think I think this is my good side. Right. Nick, the answer there is on the Garner. We don't have a bad side. <laughs> <laughs> I got a face for radio, so that's my answer. Oh, okay. <laughs>